Hi guys, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we discussed an overview of metabolism. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. To watch the other topics of biochemistry and other subjects of pharmaceutical sciences, click on the links given right below this video. In this lesson, we will learn a brief history of glycolytic pathway. Glycolysis was one of the first metabolic pathways to be elucidated. It played an important role in the development of biochemistry. In 1897, Edward Buchner discovered that bubbles of carbon dioxide were released from a mixture of sucrose and a cell-free yeast extract. He concluded that fermentation was occurring in his cell-free extract. More than 20 years later, Louis Pasteur had shown that yeast cells ferment sugar to alcohol that is produce ethanol and carbon dioxide but Buchner showed that intact cells were not required. Buchner named the fermenting activity zymase. Today we recognize that the zymase of the yeast extracts is not a single enzyme but a mixture of enzymes that together catalyze the reactions of glycolysis. The steps of glycolytic pathway were gradually discovered by analyzing the reactions catalyzed by extracts of yeast or muscle. In 1905, Arthur Harden and William John Young found that when the rate of glucose fermentation by yeast extract decreased, it could be restored by adding inorganic phosphate. Harden and Young assumed that phosphate derivatives of glucose were being formed. They succeeded in isolating fructose 1,6-bisphosphate and showed that it is an intermediate in the fermentation of glucose because it was also fermented by cell-free yeast extracts. Harden was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1929 for his work on glycolysis. By the 1940s, the complete glycolytic pathway in eukaryotes including its enzymes, intermediates and coenzymes was known. The further characterization of individual enzymes and studies of the regulation of glycolysis and its integration with other pathways have taken many more years. In bacteria, the classic glycolytic pathway is called the emden meyerhoff parnas pathway after Gustav Emden, Otto Meyerhoff and Jakob Parnas scientists. The bacterial pathway differs in some minor ways from the eukaryotic pathway. In 1922, Meyerhoff was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his work on the production of lactic acid in muscle cells. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, a brief history of glycolytic pathway. In the next lesson, we will learn the sequence of reactions involving in the glycolysis. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.